Well, if you're in the Permian Basin and you walk through a neighborhood, you probably saw some teddy bears around. They're actually part of a teddy bear hunt. They're happening in Midland, Brewster County, and also in Crane. And that's where uh, News West 9's Rachel Riff, she spoke with one elementary teacher who says that she bears and talks about why she started this search for the fuzzy friends in her town. Today, walking down the street may be grim, but if you look closely, you'll find out you're not alone. Tons of fuzzy teddy bears just like this one are waiting for you to find them right here in Midland. But for another West Texas town, their community responded in a big way. So much, their love is unbearable. And I have a great story for you today. We're going on a bear hunt and I've got some friends here to join me. It's a classic story you've probably read before. We're going on a bear hunt by Michael Rosen. But now, a bear hunt is underway in West Texas. But not real bears, teddy bears. And now, it's your turn to find them. I had seen a couple of posts, you know, about this bear hunt. And so then a couple of teachers reached out to me and they're like, hey, we should do this. And I'm like, okay, yeah, let's put it together. And that's exactly what happened. With students and teachers barely seeing each other, elementary teacher Krista Zeiger knew something had to be done. I thought, what's the easier way? And I thought they could come to my page. So I started sharing that with, you know, parents. And now West Texas families can find the Facebook page, Mrs. Zeigler's Counselor Corner. It's where she first posted about the hunt. And since then, the shares just kept on going up. From the Crane County Sheriff's Office to local businesses and parents, it eventually led to an entire parade of teddy bears. But more so, a small community showing support to one another. I mean, it just brought, I mean, tears to our eyes, and it was just so good to see the kids. With social distancing causing students and teachers to barely see each other, the bear hugs will have to wait a while. I know I can't give them hugs now, but I love to give hugs and just make sure that they're okay. And, you know, and so that's one thing that I was like, how can I reach out to them and make sure that they're okay and see those smiles on their faces? And boy, were their smiles. It was awesome just to see them out there and their posters that they wrote to teachers. And there was even one student who recorded his voice saying he missed his teacher. And so that was being heard as you drove by. A message that shows no matter the distance, West Texans carry a fuzzy and warm feeling of love even when we're far apart. I think sometimes we get so busy and caught up with our daily lives and work. And so, I mean, honestly, to me, this has been a time to just reflect on everything and realize, like, I don't need all the extra stuff that I do or want to do. These bears are a reminder for Krista that all she needs is her family and a community of support and love. Now, Krista and her family have found 75 teddy bears so far, just like this one, and they'll continue to find more. And so can you because this hunt is not over yet. They're extending it through the end of the month. So get out there and spend some quality time with your family. In Midland, Rachel Ripp, Newswest 9.